Hey gang, Jack Lair here, and today I need your help uh, with part of a project that is either 95% done or 45% done, depending on the suggestions I get from you. So in 2020, uh, of Christmas of that year, uh, my family was nice enough to get me uh, a uh, do-it-yourself arcade kit. Uh, it came with uh, two sticks, uh, 20 different buttons, the control, the control boards, whole nine yards. And when uh, I got that, I was like, aha, perfect project for me. And I did absolutely nothing with it because I kept looking for the perfect housing. I didn't know if I wanted to make it. I didn't know if I wanted to uh, retrofit something else. I didn't want to know how big, how small. And I kept looking over and over at plans and plans and plans and plans. Two years later, so in 2022, I bought two of these nice little boxes here. So the idea was that uh, two boxes, two controllers, uh, or, and the joystick would go over here, the buttons would go over here, but this is very, very light wood. So the good thing is, is that uh, the buttons look like this and they light up. They're not micro switches, they're, I knew this going in. This is all prototype stuff. And basically you drill a hole, you put this on one side, and then you tighten it through, tighten it up, and then you connect it with these little plugs. Okay, good with me so far? So, and they also included these. So for those of you who don't know what these are, there are different ways to restrict the movement of a joystick. Uh, and particularly the one that I have in basically looks like a, a, a square with the edges rounded off. So you go up and then you can kind of round into, it's very easy to kind of move all the way around. These are octagons. And basically what it is is that this goes in at an angle like this so that when you push up, it kind of locks into the up position and then it'll go in an eight-way corner. The other one is very more fluid. Why did I make this choice? I don't remember. But, so I got these and I was trying to decide whether they would actually work. And then I saw the top of a podium, like a podium that you would use. And I was like, you know what? That's just about the size of an arcade, like an arcade arcade board. And then, so I bought that, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. Then I downloaded all of these plans of uh, uh, angled, angled buttons and, and straight buttons and measurements, and I just decided, you know what? I have ADHD, I can't mess with all of this. So I threw all of that out, uh, drew some lines, drilled some holes, and ended up with an absolute monster. And here it is. So here we have all of the buttons. Select start, these are the coin ins. Those are six buttons that you can assign to whatever. Uh, mainly this has been how I play Vampire Survivors now, but the inside I have all of these uh, basically drilled in. I drilled it off and I plan on uh, wood burning some designs or something into the top. But the thing is, right now, it ends in just these. Now I've tested this on the PC and it works on, uh, most games are smart enough to pick it up. Some are not. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Tower of Doom, I'm looking at you. Uh, but I can't decide if I want to leave it as a free roaming controller or if I want to take something like a Raspberry Pi or uh, 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 an older laptop and kind of stuff it inside here and basically make it to where I can hook this up to say my big beautiful TV. So that's where I'm at. I don't know if that's what I want to do. 
and I figured I would show you guys how I've made it so far, and then you can take a look and uh, see what you think. Post in the comments if you have any suggestions, ideas. Uh, if you have uh, links to other videos of people who have built controllers like like this, I would be interested in that as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. And thank you very much for watching. And as always, play on.